<laughs> Hi, Kathy. Happy to have you here, too. <clears throat> Hopefully everybody's All right. good. here okay today. So we are... Let me just make sure the titles are correct. Oh, hi, Carol from New Jersey and Karen from Brisbane, Australia. I love that we get to connect with people all over the planet through Zoom. How amazing is that? Really opens up our world <clears throat> for connection. Oh, and hello from Montreal, Patrick. Very cool. I've heard Montreal is beautiful. I've never been there or, or Australia for that matter. Or I have been to New Jersey and New Jersey had some really, <laughs> cool, really cool parts for sure. I've been on the train through New Jersey. <laughs> I got to go to the Jersey shore. <laughs> oh, that's right. You did. Uh -huh. One of my favorite people lives in New Jersey. Pamela. Oh, in Vancouver. I've been in parts of Canada, including Vancouver, and what I've seen is beautiful. So it's a lot like here, I feel, um, our Puget Sound area extending into Canada, above us here on the, the west side of the United States. Well, we are streaming now on YouTube All and right. Facebook. So welcome, everybody who's joining us there, watching the replay. Let us know if you're joining us. We love to hear who's who's watching. We love to know who's watching and receiving this healing. So if you're on YouTube, leave us a comment. Um, if you haven't subscribed to our YouTube channel, it's brand new. Um, we'd love to have you subscribe. If you haven't already, that way you can get notified when we go live and do these things. Mm -hmm. And welcome if you're joining us in our Facebook group. Welcome to day two. Of becoming one with sacred light. Um, we're we're thrilled to be doing this master class. Um, we love connecting with you guys. Thank you all for joining us. Um, those of you who joined us yesterday, let us know if you were here yesterday. Before we went live, there was some discussion about um, the call yesterday. How powerful you guys felt that it was. Um, a couple of people shared some things. Um, we're going to just share a couple of the share. We'll share a couple of the shares from yesterday. <laughs> uh, one person said that was so powerful. Lots of colors were coming through pulsating blues, magenta, green, gold, pink, strong tingling energy in my hands and movement and sensation in my shoulders. Uh, another person said, wow, feeling great. I'm not sure where I am. <laughs> um, this was right after the healing yesterday. This healing was very powerful. I'm still processing it. Very intense. Thank you. Uh, feeling epic. Definitely cleared some past life stuff. Going to repeat this. Fantastic healing was so powerful. Rewatching to get more. Um, yes, these tools help so much to assist life's challenges. I feel that a lot of ancestral issues were released. And one more share. Thank you for creating and holding the space for this epic virtual retreat. It will be another epic and powerful experience and shift to up level. So uh, you guys really enjoyed the healing yesterday. And a couple of people said they were going to repeat it. Um, that's always what we recommend because we do bring, even in, even in these free healings that we do, we bring so much into the healing that oftentimes we aren't able to receive it all in one time, especially if this is your first time receiving any of the tools that we're working with. Mm -hmm. So we do recommend repeating it. The, the easiest way to find it is on our YouTube channel, uh, co-creating miracles with sacred light. Um, right there under the live tab, you'll find yesterday's and today's healing and, and day three, which will be next Wednesday. Um, it's also, you can find it also in our Facebook group of the same name, co-creating miracle. Well, actually our Facebook group is called co-creating miracles 
with Kimberly and Alicia. So find the replays in either of those places. And we're excited to be back with you all today. Mm -hmm. So we're, we like to start out when we're, we're doing sort of a series of days um, of master classes or, you know, uh, virtual treat, retreats like this. Um, we like to do just a little quick recap of what we did the day before. Um, and so we're going to do that here uh, before we move into today's content that we have in, uh, planned for you. So yesterday we really focused in on Sacred Light Level 2 certification healing tools. For the healing that we did yesterday, that was all Sacred Light Level 2 tools, um, as well as our focus for sharing, like take giving you that deeper look at that course and the, the tools that are part of that course, the training that's part of that course. Since you all know if you were with us yesterday, that that is one of the three courses that we're going to be teaching all together live from Tulum, Mexico in April. And uh, there's an online um, uh, virtual um, option for that as well. And um, of course, some people are joining us to receive this training live in person at the retreat in Tulum. So all of it's exciting. All of it holds so much um, amazing support and energy for growth and transformation that, that you know, leaps in spirit, spiritual evolution, and of course, healing. And, and then also our favorite thing about our very favorite thing, if we can just narrow it down to one favorite thing that we do, it's empowering other people with the healing tools of sacred light modality um, so that you can, you know, have these kinds of healing tools at your fingertips and, and, you know, really go deep and on your own self-work. And, and of course, if you work with clients or you want to, you know, assist family members or friends in their healing process, that's, that's the best way that we can really truly, you know, help the planet is by empowering others with these tools. So we look really forward to this time. Uh, we only get to teach certain classes once a year and sometimes even less than that. So in fact, the two classes that or the three classes that we're really sharing about in this virtual retreat and these during these three days together, um, Sacred Light Levels 2 and 3, we haven't taught for two, we haven't been able to get it into our schedules to teach it for two years. And then Sacred Light Level 4 is brand, brand new. And so we're going to be sharing about that on Wednesday next week. So yesterday with those Sacred Light Level 2 healing tools, we ran um, a three-part healing tool kind of series called Healing the Great Divide. And this healing, all three of those tools, kind of one builds off of another. Um, they're sort of in chunks or you know energy packets that we can um, use separately or bring and run all together. And we actually ran all of them yesterday. And they're working together to dissolve deeply embedded ancestral trauma, human collective, present life, past life trauma from times and experiences where you have uh, been or felt divided, conflicted, disconnected, alone. It's clearing and resolving stuck emotions from inner conflict like separation, confusion, anger, isolation, uh, frustration, hopelessness, helplessness, and even rejection. It's clearing and resolving the belief system and, and other energy patterns that create these painful feelings and experiences. And it's activating unity consciousness to feel more supported and connected to yourself, first and foremost, and then out to others, not the larger world around you. And it's also expanding your ability to see the bigger picture, to navigate challenging times from the highest perspective, and all working together to bring you into that next sort of phase or place of alignment with the oneness of all from a state of compassion to feel and create more peace, hope, trust, balance, and harmony within. And then we also ran the Sacred Light Childhood Trauma Healing for you to uh, continue that sort of clearing of some of the similar type of patterns, but um, kind of really partnering with that conflict series really well, going deeper into healing unhealed trauma that we're holding from our early life experiences in general from the womb, through the birth process, 
healing the inner child for a reconnection and return to wholeness. It's also a really great healing to, um, you know, bring, you know, to clear and resolve and kind of bring that salve, if you will, to any father wound or mother wound that we're, that we're holding, um, that needs healing, um, works to, you know, clear related patterns like narcissism type trauma, neglect type trauma, codependency patterns, and more. And um, it does more than that too. Actually, there's a lot to that tool. But just for this little summary here, we also ran for you the spiritual detox combo, uh, which is a powerhouse healing tool that combines, you know, both of our work as well as, as what we've created together, kind of layering it in such a way where it all combines to bring forth a really deep clearing for issues that may be creating a bit of a healing crisis type effect after energy work um, or in, or uh, from an intense experience or energetic upgrade. But it actually has many uses. You can um, run it just, you know, kind of on the fly to clear yourself and your field of any type of maybe emotion or other type of pattern that's feeling really overwhelming and you're having trouble um, kind of processing it out. Um, it's a, um, another great way that we can use this tool that I use it personally all the time is it's one of the tools I run for my son, um, who's nine when he goes to bed at night, just clearing off anything he's picked up. That's not his from his day at school and all of the connections that he makes when he's away from home and out on his own, um, <clears throat> really helping to you know, clear out distorted patterns that he may have picked up as he's moved through his day. Um, so that's one way I use it frequently. Um, and then the golden Christ light activation we ran to at really at the end of all of that deep clearing and healing work. Um, it brings a beautiful divine blessing type frequency or energy in that, that golden Christ light energy. And it helps us to hold the highest light, the highest potential and the highest good for all humankind and, and all beings that are part of our Ascension timeline. And so it's one of those tools that's really great at just at helping you kind of shift into feeling lighter, feeling happier. And so a really great way to wrap up uh, healing when you're working with kind of those heavy hitter tools that are digging deep and clearing out um patterns that have been creating, you know, pain, whether it's, you know, for us, whether it's emotional, spiritual, mental, or even physical. So um, that's a brief sort of summary of the work that we did yesterday. So if you're joining us here for the first time today, stay here with us. You you know, for more to come today, Alicia's going to share about that, but do make sure that you go back to that day one and grab that healing for yourself. Today, we're going to be like building off of that. Um, but you, you can start here if that's, if that's how it's worked for you, but we're definitely recommending you, you go back and, and grab all of the healing that we're providing for you over these three days together. Yeah, we did a lot of dense, dense work, uh, clearing those dense energies yesterday. So today we're going to build off of what we did yesterday to really work on, we're going to be focusing on sacred light level three tools today to support all of us to rising up into unity consciousness and aligning with the oneness of all to really become one. We talked about that yesterday. Um, we talked about how our wounding, our trauma can help, can really make us feel disconnected we cleared a lot of that yesterday. Today, we're really focusing on bringing in some support to really feel one with everything around us, to feel whole and complete so that we can really live our truth and call in our heart's desires. We're going to tap into higher wisdom, um, to that higher vision so that you can amplify your ability to see the bigger picture in order to safely and lovingly navigate through difficult times from the highest perspective. And yesterday I shared just how much these tools have supported me 
um, personally in the last year, uh, year plus, which has been one of the hardest years of my life. Um, and I'm in the thick of that right now. A lot of you guys know, know that, and these tools are, I don't know, this is the first time in my life that I've navigated going through the death of someone that I love, uh, and having these tools in my life. And so I can speak to how much they are supporting me right now. Not that it's not difficult, but that is, um, that I, I can feel tangibly the support that I have around me through these tools. Um, we're also going to be working on unearthing hidden gifts and revolutionizing your personal growth journey. We're going to bring bringing in some support for that so that you can create conscious success and start living your greatest life vision. So uh, some of the tools that we're going to be using today, we're going to um, just share some briefly, some overall descriptions here. We're going to go on a journey today. It's called the journey home. Um, this healing is activating the seed points in your DNA, allowing you to connect to your own star seed origin, uh, the planet star or location of your soul, where your soul originated. Um, you don't have to know, consciously know that this journey will just automatically activate this for you, um, connect you to the beings that are part, part of your soul family so that you can easily be able to access the wisdom, the information, um, the akash of your soul there and the abilities and gifts that you held from lifetimes of your soul origin, anytime you choose. It's also clearing out trauma from when we have traveled beyond time and space, from when we have been stuck in between time, not being able to get home, when we have been hijacked, trapped, tricked, um, trauma from your experiences, lifetimes, and timelines in your home origin, trauma from the destruction of planets, stars, universes, dissolving and resolving the priority trauma for all who are receiving this healing. So it's really an individualized healing, like so many other things are that we've created, um, really working on your priority in the moment that you're receiving the healing, clearing any emotions that you're storing from these experiences, these traumas, um, healing these trapped, disconnected, distorted, and wounded aspects of you really for a return home, for a full merge and integration of these parts and aspects of you. It's ultimately clearing, um, it's ultimately creating soul expansion and the ability to anchor that expansion into your human body so that you can stay grounded, so you can hold on to it. That's such an important part of healing. If we do the healing work and we don't, you know, we're not grounded, we're not in our body, we're not able to hold on to it in our body, you know, doesn't do as much good as it does when we can ground it in. And then we're going to be running three of our Archangel series. I love this series. We both love this series so much and we use it a lot. It's built into a lot of other things. And we, we're going to talk a little bit about how we combine some of these tools together with other series to just really create synergistic combinations that we call cocktails. So archangels are magnificent, evolved spiritual beings who vibrate with an incredible light and frequency. Each archangel illuminates specific virtues and qualities, and they share these with us through the immense divine light that they carry. Working with the archangels really helps us as healers, um, empaths and intuitives, as we can often feel alone, um, kind of a topic of this whole masterclass. Uh, sometimes we feel like nobody understands us as healers. We often feel burdened with the healing of the world being on our shoulders alone, even though that's not true. It can feel that way. The, the tools of this uh, Archangel series really help us connect with these beings to feel more supported, to feel less alone. They will help us remember who we are, to remember our own magnificence and to help us see the world, our universe, from that higher, bigger picture view and master the laws that govern our universe. They are more than willing, archangels are more than willing to offer their love, guidance, healing, and support whenever we ask, but they will not interfere without our permission. 
So these tools really help us connect with them and, and ask for that support. As we connect into activate and expand into the virtues, these divine light beings hold, connecting to the archangels not only speeds up our ascension process, it helps us navigate our ascension with less struggle and more flow. With each virtue we master, we unlock more of our own abilities, attain greater levels of self-love and awareness as we connect into the immense creative powers we hold, understanding our bigness, um, our divine nature, leveling up sacred personal power and self-mastery, allowing our soul to blossom, to release more layers of trauma and to shed the karma of our third dimensional reality. It's like taking off a set of clothes, revealing shinier new clothes underneath. This is the joy of the archangels and the joy of our own souls. So archangels have been involved with humanity since the beginning of humanity. And we've experienced so much with them around them. And a lot of programming about them has been passed down throughout history. These tools are also helping to dissolve old belief structures, traumas, and other limiting energies that can inhibit our ability to receive the guidance and support the archangels are here to offer. Yes, and those <clears throat> work so well with the next set of tools that we're going to be uh, bringing in for you to experience today. And the we're actually going to be running four of our Sacred Light Higher Chakra series tools that are also part of that level three course. And this chakra series is all about upgrading, updating, and expanding your 12 fifth dimensional chakras with the highest light and frequencies available to each individual at the time that they, or that they, today is you, <laughs> at the time that you receive these healings. And there are so many benefits um, to be had, to be experienced by each one of these tools. And again, we're just going to do four of these today, but there are 12. Um, the four that we're going to do today are actually the, um, the crown chakra and the transpersonal chakras. So those fifth dimensional chakras above your crown, soul star um, and stellar gateway. Um, so we're going to be doing those. And I think I missed one, causal, we have causal chakra. So we're going to be working with those today. But the chakra series in general is um, uh, um, has so many benefits. So I'm just going to name a few of these here. But they allow for a fuller embodiment of the soul. They allow us to live in full acceptance of ourselves and others in love and harmony. And this is the starting point to creating heaven on earth. And that meaning how we um, connect in to source energy, how we connect through the heart, um, how we are connected through our 12th, uh, 12 fifth dimensional chakras is really that, um, that starting point to creating heaven on earth. It allows our physical systems of our body to align more perfectly for optimal health and well-being. It brings in healing for the glands, organs, and body systems that are connected to each chakra. It brings in more oneness and feelings of connection, which allows us to create and have loving and fulfilling relationships. It allows us to access our multi-dimensionality, amplifying our intuition, gifts, and abilities. It generates and connects us to strength, courage, and sacred power. It allows us to utilize the skills and abilities, knowledge, a knowledge of the higher uh, dimensions, working with a higher dimensional light, um, assist us in expressing our truth and taking right action on those individual truths, um, connects us and activates our soul purpose, soul mission, balances your brain and brain chemicals, balances your divine feminine, divine masculine, strengthens your chakra column as a whole, and actually um, probably more than that, <laughs> that it's that it's doing. So of course that's referring more to the whole series. So it's uh, extremely beneficial to work with all 12 of those, but we uh, were guided to bring in um, the four of them today to really complement the uh, Archangel series that we were also guided to bring in for you, the, the three from there and that journey home that we're doing together today. So, um, yeah, they all, there's so many of these tools 
really the tools throughout Sacred Light Levels 2 and 3 all partner so well together to bring in whatever healing sort of or energetic remedy even you could look at it um, that we're needing as an individual on and like an on per basis sort of thing. So um, we can work with different tools, kind of pull them together, run them together in what we refer to as cocktails. Alicia is going to share more about that. And when we do that, we end up with a unique energetic healing packet. And there's so much we can do uh, to resolve, you know, different challenges that are showing up in different areas, as well as to, you know, activate skills, abilities, psychic, um, you know, our intuition and so much more. Yeah. So cocktails, um, what is this? This might be a new term for you. We're not talking about the latest drink out there <laughs> or a drug cocktail, but it has the nope. same kind of idea. Um, mm -hmm. you know, a, a combination of different ingredients basically. Um, so we, all of these level two, three, and four healing tools are packets of energy that we've created. And then Kim has some energetic allergy healing tools that are the same way. Sacred soul alignments are energy packets. So between these modalities, so between um, sacred light two, three, and four, there's, I, I would guess, estimate somewhere between 125 to 150 tools uh, up to maybe not quite that many. So that's a lot of tools to be, to, to be working with in your toolkit. So imagine, you know, like 125 different colors of paint and all of the different combinations of color that you could create from that. So we combine, so just using, you know, sacred light levels two, three, and four, as an example, there's so many different series that we can pull, pull from. And when we run those those different tools together as a cocktail, we are creating basically a whole new energy packet. Um, and as a practitioner of this modality, you will have a very large toolkit to choose from, to work from in creating these, these different combinations for any, you know, anything that you can think of, um, you can pull from these different series and have tools that really work together to create a basically a whole new healing tool when you run a cocktail. And then if you are a practitioner of our other modalities, um, energetic allergy healing, sacred soul alignment, even sacred soul symbols, you can bring in um, those technologies or co-creating miracles, you can bring in those technologies and it really becomes infinite what, what you can create, um, you know, your own cocktails of healing tools that you can really, you know, make a unique tool for any circumstance, any individual. Um, and so the, the toolkit that you have starting with say roughly 125 tools with these three classes, maybe a little bit more than that, you know, you can make an infinite number of combinations of these, an infinite number of cocktails, so that those tools become thousands of tools potentially that you have at your fingertips. Right, giving you the freedom and you know the tools that you need to assist you and others around you with what they need in any given moment because our challenges are unique, our patterns are unique, what comes up to be healed um, as a as a wound is, is a collective energy. It's, it's our wounds are made up of, of many different energy patterns that come together almost like in a little ball or maybe a big ball <laughs> in our energy field. And that ball can consist of negative programming, um, you know, negative belief systems or um, low vibrational emotions that are trapped and, and, and they're all, you know, it's part of this the ball of wax, so to speak, of this of our wounding. Um, it could be cord and attachment type energies or even entity type energies, or um, there's a lot of different energy patterns that we address and work with um, in sacred light modality, actually in all of our modalities. Um, and what one person's wound is that needs healing is going to be made up of different energy patterns than, you know, your your best friend or your mother or 
you know, even someone blood related where so much is inherited in our DNA uh, or passed down you know, that an ancestrally, ancestrally, you know, we often need a lot of the same things to clear the same wounds, but there's still going to be some unique things because no two individuals are the same, right? None, none of our DNA looks the same from person to person. So these tools and the way we teach you to use them allows you to really address wounds of all kinds, shapes, sizes, colors, <laughs> you know. <laughs> so this is effective healing, right? This yeah, and it, yes. For effective healing that brings tangible results. Effective and really individualized. You know, if you're working with somebody and you're clearing a lot of dense energy, you might want to bring in, you know, the, the spiritual detox and the flesh from level two, um, because, you know, you're going to be working with a lot of dense energy and you need that support. Uh, so we can really, we can, there's, there's, we just get so excited about this work because yeah. there's just, it's infinite what we can yeah. do with these tools when you get and them in call, your hands. And we call it work, but you know, it it's really, play, play. really, it we, really we love play. it. We enjoy it. Yeah. So if you are, you know, you resonate, you know, you love to, you know, you're on this quest, the sort of this quest of healing and it, you know, ignites excitement and inspires you, then you're probably just like us. Right. And, you know, having tools like this is, you know, yes, it's work, but it's, it, it's also oftentimes play and um, it can be really fun. And it's right now, if you're new to hearing and learning about what we're up to here, that might sound a little overwhelming, but it really isn't. It's actually quite simple. Um, these tools are easy to work with, easy to run, and even making these cocktails is actually quite simple. Uh, you just, you you know, you just need to be shown how, right? So we make it easy in class um, and when we do our training uh, courses. So yes. All so all of that to, said, you're getting your own yeah. details right here. Like these right. are, unique. we, we tune into, you know, this is our intention for our community. This is what we feel guided to, to, to bring support to all of you. And this is the so kind of support. This is our focus of support. Um, what tools, you know, we have three days, what tools are going to bring the highest level of support for our group that's showing up for this? right? Whether you're here with us live or you're watching the replays later, that's what you're receiving. That's what this is about. It's exciting. So let's, it is exciting. <laughs> so let's dive in. Let's dive into the healing. You guys ready? We're going to go on a bit of a journey. So I'm going to get us all connected here today with the heart of creation connection. Um, and then Kim's going to take us on the journey home. We're going to run three of the Archangel series and four of the chakra series today. So you're going to probably come away from this, this healing, feeling pretty buzzy. It's a lot of high frequency energy that we're bringing in. So um, let's just go for it. Do you want to record? Yeah, let's this do separately? that. And there, there could also be emotion with the, as you move yeah. the journey home and you're really connecting with home and heart and some of those energies too. So if that, comes through that's a could you know we've heard this before <laughs> people have had this experience before and yes let me just make the zoom screen uh, bigger for myself so i can hit record all right and here we go right so this is day two of becoming one with sacred light so just taking a moment to get comfortable sitting up with your spine straight and your feet flat on the ground or lying flat, settling into your body, bringing all of your awareness into the present moment and just relax, closing your eyes, allowing yourself to land right here, right now, and allowing your body to relax even more. And just placing your focus and awareness onto your heart. And just breathe. Allowing your breath to slow and deepen 
Breathing as if you're breathing directly through your heart, allowing your inhale and exhale to slow to about a count of five. Inhaling for five, four, three, two, one. Exhaling for five, four, three, two, one. And just continuing this long, slow, deep breath through your heart as you bring your awareness to the energy of compassion. Compassion is one of the highest frequencies that we can access and one of the building blocks of creation. We invite you to see, sense, feel, or imagine the energy of compassion as a beautiful pink light surrounding you. And as you breathe through your heart, just using your intention to breathe that pink light of compassion into your heart, allowing this energy to fill and expand your heart. And with your next breath, allowing this energy of compassion to expand into every cell of your body, feeling the cells of your body vibrating with the frequency of compassion. And with your focus and awareness on your heart, feeling into the heart-to-heart -heart connection between your heart and the heart of Gaia and your heart and the heart of creation or pure source energy. Noticing the beautiful golden light in the heart of Gaia and the glorious iridescent light in the heart of creation. And with your next breath, simultaneously begin to breathe this golden light from Gaia and iridescent light from the heart of creation into your heart. And as you breathe these energies into your heart, allowing the golden light from Gaia and iridescent light from the heart of creation to merge with the pink light of compassion, creating a beautiful iridescent rose gold light, allowing this light to expand your heart even more, allowing this light to fill all the cells of your body, expanding beyond your physical body, going 12 feet out in all directions, filling your entire energy field, creating a beautiful iridescent rose gold ball of light that you are in the center of. And just taking a moment here in this space to notice how nurtured, loved, safe, and protected you are. Good, and from within this protected, beautiful space. We invite you to feel into your heart-to-heart -heart connection between your human aspect and your divine aspect, the highest aspect of your soul that's guiding you through your human experience. And with your next breath, allowing your human aspect to merge with your divine aspect. And as you merge with your divine aspect, feeling yourself expanding into all of this light surrounding you, feeling yourself expanding infinitely, expanding all the way into the heart of creation, expanding all the way into the quantum field where all potential and possibility exists. And as we move in and through the healing, just staying in your heart, breathing through your heart, connected to that energy of all that is, allowing yourself to expand into the energy of all potential and possibility. Good. So just connecting in with that container that we created yesterday. Good. Divine love and light calling in sacred light open. Good. We're going to move into the journey home now. So this is a 
um, a little bit of a process here, meditation type journey. And so if you would, as you continue to focus on your heart and your breath, just begin to gently bring your awareness to your heart and high heart chakra. Expand that awareness to your soul star chakra, just about a foot above your head. And expand that awareness down to your earth star chakra, about a foot below your feet. And just feeling into the connection between these three chakras. Breathing into your heart and breathing the light from your heart up into your soul star and down into your earth star. Placing your awareness into your earth star chakra. Knowing that you are really anchored. You have that anchor connecting you heart to heart with Gaia. You can witness or imagine this anchor connecting your entire chakra column into the heart of Gaia. Allowing your chakra column to be strengthened, to be fortified with the highest available light that you can access in this now moment. Your attention is now being drawn to your heart. Feel, witness, or imagine as space and time fold in on itself, allowing a stargate to open within your heart that will allow you to access the origin of your soul, to unlock your memories of home, of your gifts, your abilities, your wisdom from your home origin, of the starseed collective of your soul origin, of your lifetimes of experience in this place of soul origin. Imagine you are stepping into this stargate, allow you to take you home. Find yourself in the beautiful location of your soul's origin. It may feel or appear to be another planet or perhaps a star or something entirely different than that you may currently lack the language to describe. Just know that you are in a safe, protected, beautiful space to experience this unfolding. You may feel or have an awareness that you are being greeted by one or many beings who look or feel very familiar to you. <clears throat> These are members of your soul origin family. Feel the love transmitting or pouring out from them. Good, become aware of the instantaneous exchange of information that's happening right now between you and this being or beings that's taking place. They may have a message or even a gift for you. Just allow yourself to receive this now. Any offering. which could come in the form of simply an, a new awareness. Good, just allowing you to sit in this energy for a moment here. Feel the deep gratitude for this experience, remembrance, this reconnection between you and these beings here in this place or space or time. You may even find yourself shaking hands or bowing in gratitude as you prepare to come back into your heart and into this now moment. Good. Now coming back through your stargate and into your heart, finding yourself 
fully back in your own heart space in this present time, present moment now. And as you do, notice that a new grid system has come in for you and is now layered within your 12th dimensional sphere or grid. This is the grid of your, whole, your soul home origin. Feel it as it moves into perfect alignment with all of the other grids that are currently active for you now. Anchoring in, we're gonna anchor in this connection between your heart and the heart chakra, the grid system and the akash of your home origin now. Anchoring this all into your heart, into your DNA, into your soul star, your earth star, into the heart of Gaia, into your soul grid, into all optimal dimensions now. Good, and knowing the Stargate is now accessible to you, this connection to your home origin, the beings, the wisdom, the love, the frequencies there, they're available for you to access at any time at will. Beautiful. And just staying in that beautiful energy of remembrance, I'm going to call in Archangel Gabriel and the Diamond of Clarity, bringing strength, purity, and divine communication. So, divine love and light, call in the Sunil, Creator Jesus. Just feeling or sensing or having the awareness of Archangel Gabriel, who is the angel of com communication, new beginnings and strength. He may be bringing you an inspiring divine message to assist you in finding your highest calling. Gabriel works closely with authors, teachers, artists, counselors, Good. This energy is activating the virtues of strength, purity, and divine communication, igniting these frequencies in your heart, amplifying them, expanding them out from your heart into your cells, into your DNA, dissolving all that is in the way of fully embodying these virtues, these frequencies. It's also working with beliefs bringing in downloads to assist you in coming into harmony with these virtues and qualities of strength, purity, and divine communication. It's also activating your higher root, sacral and navel chakras, bringing in bliss and joy, and trust that the universe will support you is activating the diamond of clarity to lift the veil of illusion. Just feeling that diamond of clarity being placed around you. Good. Now divine love and light calling in Archangel Uriel and the flame of resurrection and rebirth. And the virtues of wisdom, truth, peace, and strength, calling this in now, divine love and light, creator change it. Just feeling that connection with Archangel Uriel, whose name means the light of God. The open hand um, holding the flame as they are often depicted represents the openness and willingness to receive the love of God, to remain spiritually devoted. Uriel pours light upon the world, illuminating humanity, helping us along our path of enlightenment. This healing is igniting and activating the virtues of wisdom, truth, peace, and strength, activating them in your heart, amplifying them and expanding them out 
throughout your cells and DNA and all parts and aspects of you, dissolving what may be in the way of fully embodying these virtues. Just connecting in with that, that flame of resurrection and rebirth. You can imagine it or see it in your mind's eye as a mother of pearl flame, bringing renewal, rebirth, and rejuvenation so that you, like a phoenix, can rise from the ashes of your former self. Allowing this flame to burn up the trauma of the past karmic cycles of death, rebirth, and resurrection from all the times that you have gone through this process of initiation in order to ultimately move beyond these karmic cycles. All right, and now at Divine Love and Light, calling in Archangel Raziel awakening psychic abilities and the truth of your heart, activating the virtues of service, faith, and dedication, calling this in now and divine love and light, create your attention. You feel or imagine Archangel Raziel, who is like the wizard of the archangels, as he holds the keys to unlocking many of the secrets and mysteries of the universe. Archangel Raziel can help you uncover new spiritual insights, develop your psychic abilities, dissolve and remove blockages, increase your creativity, and activate service, faith, and dedication. This is igniting these frequencies in your heart, amplifying them, expanding them out into your cells and your DNA and all parts and aspects of you helping to dissolve what may be in the way of fully embodying these virtues. Dissolving blockages you may have to awakening and uncovering your psychic abilities and awakening the truths that are embedded within your DNA, unlocking your own magic. Just feeling these beautiful archangels around you, supporting you, guiding you, and offering their wisdom and their, their strength, their virtues to you. Good. And now we're going to move into the uh, <clears throat> chakra series tools, running a few of these for you. First one we're running here is... Um, your uh, for the crown chakra so in divine love and light run your higher crown chakra running this now create or change it beautiful this is bringing in waves of higher energies and this download that's coming in for you download of light will extend from your crown through all of your spiritual bodies going far out around you. It's also clearing out any trauma or other distorted energies that could be uh, with, uh, held within your higher crown chakra. This healing is activating the light codes needed for uh, the missions that we have chosen for this life. It's more fully activating, awakening, and expanding your higher crown chakra with the highest light available every time you receive it. I'm going to bring in the next one here. This is your causal chakra. I'm calling in this now. Do I love and light creator change it? Beautiful. Really activating the, the causal chakra here uh, and connection with the spirit world and the angelic realm, working so well with the Archangel series here. Activating the frequencies of peace and tranquility. It connects you to the moon, acts and even acts as your own personal moon, 
absorbing and radiating divine feminine light. Your causal chakra will draw lunar light directly into your four body system, raise your vibration and eliminate the deep feminine wisdom held within your soul. It's also clearing out trauma and other distorted energies within your causal chakra where needed and where, where is priority for you right now. And it is more fully activating, awakening and expanding your causal chakra with the highest light available right now in this moment and any time you revisit this healing in the future. Now we're going to go ahead and run the soul star chakra and divine love and light running this now, creator change it. Beautiful. <clears throat> there are our angels working here, helping, assisting to activate the higher aspects of your soul star, connecting you with your soul's incredible knowledge, wisdom, and personal skills as a master. Once this chakra is activated, a whole library of information from the universe becomes available. It's also clearing out any trauma or other distorted energies within your soul star chakra. And like the others is more fully activating, awakening and expanding your soul star chakra with the highest light available in this moment and anytime you receive it in the future. And our final healing tool that we're bringing in for you today is on divine love and light running your stellar gateway now. God, greater change it. Beautiful, really closely working with Archangel Metatron here, working to activate your stellar gateway, the gateway to all your monadic wisdom, that ultimate divine wisdom. This will also connect you to the source of light from which you originate, that star, that planet you originate from. So also working perfectly with the journey home that we were where we started today. It activates a blueprint of knowledge that is stored within the higher aspects of your stellar gateway chakra to be released when you are ready. This healing brings in Christ consciousness uh, frequency into your stellar gateway and light bodies. It's also clearing out any trauma or other distorted energies that may be within your stellar gateway chakra and is also fully activating, awakening, and expanding your stellar gateway chakra with the highest light available for you in this now moment. Beautiful. And we're going to go ahead and run sacred light close to anchor all of these energies in, all of this healing in. I'm running this for you now. Creator, change it. Very good. And we are complete with the healing that we're doing today. It's beautiful. That was amazing. Mm -hmm. Oh, many. Oh, my goodness. So many yawns, so much energy moving, moving, and moving. Oh, okay. mm, oftentimes when we're doing this for groups and, you know, we're utilizing these journeys, um, even with, when Kim is doing the journey, I often don't really fully go into the journey because I'm focused on the group, but I, I just found myself there today and had a very vivid, um, remembrance it was pretty emotional actually I had a little bit of a hard time coming into um the, the archangels because it was so it was a very very emotional experience for me in, in a beautiful way oh I love that yeah when you mentioned the grid lines gave me vivid visions wonderful so these these grids hold um codes right um the akash really those records of different times places spaces um including um there's that grid for your soul 
kind of origin, place of origin as well. And it holds all that information. And when we uh, align and anchor into these different grid systems, we really activate that information uh, for ourselves uh, and activate cellular memories that we hold. So pretty powerful experience. Um, mm -hmm. Mom, tonight I couldn't stop crying through the journey, especially when I met the beings from my soul or soul's origin. I felt like I wanted yeah. to be with being here and just go back home. Well, I believe that that's why we were guided to start with the journey and then move through the Archangel healing tools and those chakra healing tools to kind of help us kind of resolve what, you know, could come up for, uh, like you're mentioning, um, like, why, why am I here? I just want to go home. Because uh, yeah. there is div divinity in you being here. There's a reason that you chose to be here at this time. So connecting in with this, you know, vast, you know, fields of information can really help us to understand or, or have a higher perspective of, of that, you know, why we are here, why we chose to be here, you know, when things are hard and we want to run or we feel so different than maybe the rest of our family or, you know, our communities or, you know, so all of this work is so incredibly supportive uh, for us, intuitive, sensitive, empathic uh, individuals here um, with who, you know, we have these higher awarenesses. Yeah. So beautiful. And there was something I wanted to share really quick too about that journey too, because really now that you've, you know, had that, you know, within you activated, whatever was activated for you individually, you really can, you know, access that place, that space, that time through your intention consciously anytime at will. Okay. But know that you are also, and, and most likely also receiving information within this activated connection unconsciously as well. A lot coming in for you, you may not have that conscious awareness of. And over the coming days, I just felt like we should share this because over the coming days, weeks, or even months, you may find yourself having new inspirations, new thoughts, like aha moments, right? Yeah, higher perspectives, deeper understandings, um, and really feeling soul level expansion, but you might not feel it all in this moment, right? Um, a lot of it unfolds over time and kind of drops in, you know, to your field for you to become more conscious as you uh, of it, as you, you know, process and integrate and kind of have more space to hold new information. So it's not always immediate. And so just kind of pay attention to, you know, the coming days and, and weeks and, and, you know, have that in mind. I'm still yelling. <laughs> I <laughs> love the shares, love what you guys are sharing here as well. Um, yeah, good. Keep sharing. Yeah. Um, we want to talk a little bit about um, kind of going into a little bit more deeper detail about the sacred light level three healing tools that we're going to be passing on uh, just in three weeks in Tulum. Um, a lot of you guys are preparing to join us for that virtually or in person. So excited about that. So we want to share more about these tools. You can also find the details of um, these classes that we're teaching from Tulum. Um, and you could register. We'll give you the link for that here. Um, I'll just drop it into the Zoom chat and into the Facebook Live there. Great job. Um, I'm still taking in everyone's comments <laughs> for their experiences. Yeah, so in this uh class in this class, so we're gonna be teaching levels two, three, and four. Yesterday we went a little deeper with um talking about the tools in level two. Today we're gonna talk about level three. So um we're passing on uh a 
a journey activation called the golden white flame. Uh, this is a tool that you can use in a really powerful way um, as a journey, or you can also just call in the energy of it. Um, the journey itself is really powerful, um, but it's meant to be used with a specific intention. So it's a process that will allow you to embody the energy of what it is that you most want to experience, even if it seems impossible. And when this first came in for me, it was several years ago, maybe 2018, um, I, I think, um, I was guided to do, I think I did about a hundred sessions with people using this journey. There were 15 minute sessions and I did them over about a two week period of time. So I was, it was like, I was guided to do it this way. And it was so powerful. A lot of you guys might remember that. Um, so I was doing these back to back to back to back with people with their specific intention. And I saw miraculous things happen for many people in the, with this process. So the premise is that we've all had everything that we desire already in one lifetime, timeline, reality, possibly many experiences of that. And there might be many reasons why we have not recreated those desired experiences again, but we maintain that heart's desire, the longing. And if we have a longing, it's really a longing to return home to that experience. So this is a process that will activate the cellular memories of that experience that you're bringing your intention to recreate, um, that you're longing to return home to. It simultaneously clears, heals, and dissolves and releases traumas associated with those experiences mm -hmm. and activates a unique blueprint for you, which will allow you to live with these structures that are being activated in integrity, discernment, and sovereignty so that you can create what your heart longs for much more quickly without recreating the traumas that you might have had the experience of alongside that while being in your sovereignty so that you can embody what your heart desires. So you can also layer in other healing tools with this journey. Um, when, when, and if, and when you come to the class, we teach you where to bring those in, um, along the journey. And it's just, it's, it's a very, uh, potent energy. So you get that as part of level three. Um, and then the whole higher chakra series, which Kim gave the overview description of before the healing, this is 12 tools. It's your, your earth star chakra, your higher root chakra, your higher sacral chakra, your navel chakra, your higher solar plexus, your heart and high heart chakra, your higher throat chakra, your higher third eye, your higher crown, your causal, your soul star, and your stellar gateway. So this series is really about upgrading your chakra system. There is a little bit of, you know, some clearing that's happening as well, but it's really about expanding and upgrading into the higher version of our, you know, main chakras the 12 main mm -hmm. chakras. And then for some of them, it's actually bringing in and activating the more fifth dimensional and above chakras um, that aren't the traditional seven. So the earth star, the navel, the high heart, um, the causal soul star and stellar gateway. Mm -hmm. and, and then they all, the they all have um, allergy healing in each and every one of them as well that helps to clear out resistance that you may have that may become that often for us becomes activated when we are activating something um as well so as we bring in that higher light and activate those uh different energy systems or chakras <clears throat> we can have a lot kind of come up and um that are blocks or little walls of resistance that we can come up against. So allergy healing is really good at clearing that way, clearing that out, like sort of opening up the way, paving the way for you to receive more there and to be able to receive it with more ease um, uh, and flow. So, and it's clearing allergies to the connected um, organs and glands that are uh, 
that are connected to each chakra as well. So there's actually a lot of healing that they hold as well as that activation uh, process for each one. Yeah, it's a really potent series that ultimately yes. helps us expand yeah. and really get onto our the path in this life that we're meant to be on, the, the reason why we came into this experience at this time. Uh, then we have the Archangel series, which is 15 different um, healing tools for related to different archangels. So we have Archangel Michael, the blue cloak of protection and sword of truth working with the virtues of courage, strength, and truth. Archangel Raphael and his caduceus, the staff of wisdom, uh, working with compassion, wisdom, healing, and inspiration. Archangel Gabriel and the diamond of clarity, strength, purity, and divine communication. Archangel Uriel and the flame of resurrection and rebirth, wisdom, truth, peace, and strength. Archangel Shamuel and the flame of adoration, working with love, adoration, and compassion. Archangel Metatron and Divine Light Reboot, working with wisdom and love. Archangel Ariel and the activation of divine prosperity and abundance, working with courage, divine magic, leadership, and confidence. Archangel Ezekiel and the Rod of Transformation, Strength and Transformation. Archangel Sandalfun and the Bubble of Protection, Mercy, Divine Masculine and Feminine Balance, Archangel Azrael and Archangel Zara and the Golden White Cocoon, Honor, Respect, and Compassion. And this is one that we, this is one of my favorite overall across the board, all of our tools. One I think probably can speak for both of us, one of our favorites. And it's built into, we've used this in a lot of other tools as well. It's And it's one that I've been using daily for myself recently. Um, Archangel Jaffael and the thousand petal lotus of the crown chakra, wisdom, beauty, and creativity. Archangel Zadkiel and the diamond violet, co the cosmic diamond violet flame. Love this one too. Love all of these really. Uh, we're working with joy, freedom, and forgiveness. <clears throat> Archangel Haniel and the blue orb of healing light joy, divine feminine, and peace. Archangel Raziel, awakening psychic abilities and the truth of your heart, working with service, faith, and dedication. And finally, Archangel Jeremiel, activating cosmic wisdom, working with tolerance, kindness, and truth. So that is the Archangel series. And also, uh, and then we What's also so important about those, I just want to speak to for a second, or what's maybe not important. I mean, it is important, but also what's amazing about them that they're offering us is, you know, each of those words, strength, courage, love, compassion, forgiveness, wisdom, all of those words, those, those virtues that those archangels really embody and transmit so that we can, um, you know, assisting us in the embodiment of those virtues ourselves is so important um, on this quest that we're on. If you're here, you're with us, you're on the same quest. Okay, We're on this quest for uh, you know, higher awareness, higher consciousness, um, you know, living in, you know, next level, higher perspective awareness, right? And creating our lives from that place. You can call it the ascension process, spiritual evolution, whatever you want to call it. We're there, you know, the path of the healer, all of those light workers, all that, all those terms work. But when we're seeking all of those things, um, and especially if we want to do our, you know, move into our greatest potential to transmit higher frequencies and healing out to the world, you know, to others, doing work as healers per se, um, the more of those virtues that we actually embody ourselves, really anchor in for ourselves, the more we unlock of our gifts and abilities, our skill sets to do, you know, next level and next level and next level, you know, healing work, um, really moving towards that master healer, um, experience um 
or that sort of, maybe that's, is that an end goal? I don't know, but you know, um, and be, you know, because we have to, you know, have those, you know, live in such a way where we're living in those virtues to be responsible, to have spiritual wisdom, spiritual wisdom is needed to, you know, do this work and, and do it at those highest levels. So the more we, um, bring those frequencies in of those, of these different virtues, really the more power we have to change ourselves and the world around us. So they're, they play, these tools are also bringing that, uh, they're helping us with that part of our own spiritual evolution. So we can become, you know, masters, uh, masters. And really that equates to spiritual maturity. Yes. which is such an important part of doing this work, you know, especially as, as teachers, uh, it's something that we've been really called to embrace for ourselves. Yeah. Um, and then the next series is the human enslavement series. This is a three-part series, which includes free will universe healing and coming back into harmony with the divine male and Akasha. So just a brief overview, free will universe disconnects us from soul hijacking, clearing the trauma from these experiences and um, freeing the trapped aspects of our soul. It's also disconnecting us from anywhere reincarnation has been or is a trapping system, anywhere the system has been used to enslave us, drain our light, drain our power, returning that power that has been hijacked also healing the mother wound dissolving distortions in the mother template father template god template and inner child template it's also working with walk-in experiences bringing in deep healing clearing the trauma from these experiences um integration and grounding or embodiment of the soul so a lot's happening there healing and coming back into harmony with the divine male or divine masculine um, is clearing the divine shadow feminine that needs to be brought into harmony, bringing in deeper meaning and lessons to dismantle anywhere that we as women or divine feminine goddess priestess within put the divine male or divine masculine in a stranglehold, punishing them or abusing them, healing and disconnecting us from false Akashic records or the false Akash or the shadow side of the divine feminine that has been used for purposes of control and manipulation within the soul of the divine masculine, creating an imbalance within the self, within the collective and for the planet. This is also working with healing the fall of Atlantis trauma. Lord Metatron is active in this healing as he helps us release the anchor points from these false Akash and the, to re reconfigure the harmonic elements within um, our feet so that we, um, are connected with Gaia more completely. And this circuitry is really bringing the light, um, for healing and rebalancing. So again, a lot has happening within this healing as well. So the series is only three tools, but each one of them holds so much. That's the thing about sacred light tools is that they are really, most of them are really, really big packets of energy. And then finally, Akasha. In this healing, Akasha, Archangel Metatron, um, Azrael and Raphael, Haniel and Zadkiel assist unwinding and disconnecting from your false Akash, false matrices, clearing the trauma and energy imprints and confusion energies and distortions in our energy fields, bodies, and systems from experiences in or with the false Akash, false matrices, timelines, dissolving all of the binding, the shackles, the pain traps that are holding these connections in place. It's working to clear 0,000 contracts and other energy patterns that have been keeping us trapped in false Akash or false timelines, uh, retrieving all aspects of us that are caught in this trapping system, uh, fully anchoring in your true Akash, activating deep joy, compassion, love, and anchoring in the heaven on earth timeline. You know, for any of you that do work with the Akash or with the Akashic records, this tool is really invaluable so that, because it really helps you to make sure that you're making that pure, true connection 
with the true Akash of yourself and the person that you're working with. Um, all right, then we have the journey home, which you guys experienced. And then we have the sacred union with the divine series. Uh, this is really special to us, to our heart, this whole series, because these are tools that we created that really, that came in for us, um, for our first retreat in Mount Shasta. Mm -hmm. So this includes the Merkaba, um, Merkaba activation, which is a journey. Also, you can also use it, just call, call in that energy. Um, almost everything that we do across the board is working with the Merkaba. Um, it also includes building your body of light, connecting to the planetary bodies and the lady of the lake. So a few of these are journeys actually. So this whole series, um, came in, in Mount Shasta for us, um, for the retreat that we, the, our very first retreat there, um, they're all working together for a few common goals. Each one has its own special focus as well, but the, the commonality are they're working together to heal parts and aspects of us that need the healing to come into more and more fine tuned balance within our divine masculine and divine feminine. So that was the focus of that retreat. Um, sacred union with the divine was what we called it. Strengthen and clear our chakras, our subtle bodies and our light fields, create more space within us so that we can expand our light quotient awaken and reconnect us with cellular memories, abilities, knowledge, and wisdom of the ascended Atlantean and Lemurian timelines. Take us to that next level of expansion into sovereignty and creating a unified field of connection into all, uh, with all star seeds on this planet and beyond so that we have the strength and power beyond what we hold individually. So really so many of these things are, um, so in line with the theme of this three-day online retreat, becoming one with Sacred Light, uh, really becoming one collectively because we're so much more powerful collectively than we are individually. Um, and they're also helping us feel supported with our, um, supported in our in our journey here on this, on this earth. So the Merkaba activation, Merkaba translates to light spirit body. Um, it's a three-dimensional eight-pointed star. A Merkaba is like the physical construct of it. Um, and it is really a vehicle for enlightenment. It is a transportation vehicle to literally take us um, astrally from one place to another. It's useful in manifesting and co-creating. Um, you can use it in many, many ways. And we pass on the journey and the activation itself. It's and one then of the, building your, let me just say too, it's one of those technologies that we use to create containers, sacred containers, yeah. for amplified healing. And then this is, you know, something we did together on our call yesterday. That's how we started. And this is one of those tools that we do that with. We have other technologies that we work with that we like to, you know, really kind of build out these sacred containers, but that is always a part of it and in and of itself is very powerful, especially if you take the time to do the heart breath, excuse me, the sacred light connection meditation first, because that's already also really, it's like the first step of creating any type of container, um, getting really grounded, connected to your higher guidance systems and really bringing in that, uh, all of those high frequencies from those essential anchor points um, of really sacred power and um, bringing that into our field uh, around us. And then, and then you can work from there to, to layer or bring in different spiritual technologies to create amazing um, supportive sort of containers for healing or, or to do different things, you know, am amplify healing or amplify intentions for manifestation or co-creation so many ways and uses for these tools where you can just work with them on their own, even just to work with that, um, restoring that divine balance, right. Between masculine and feminine, the Merkab is really good at that as well. So many uses for, for these. Yeah. So, 
Yeah. So most of the, the vast majority of the sacred light technologies that we pass on are in co-creating miracles with sacred light. But in these levels two and three, there are a couple of technologies. So the Merkaba is, is a technology and an activation style tool. You know, it's an, it's an activating technology basically. And then the sacred light in level two, the sacred light intention alignment tool is a journey. And it's also a technology and activating technology as well. And um, it's really working with those, I forget who it was who mentioned how she loved the, when the grid systems came in, right. And the healing, the work that we did today and that intention alignment tool is amazing for that. It really brings in those grid systems into your field for you to anchor into that, hold the information that you're looking for, that you're you know on that soul level or that you're intentionally calling in to help you solve a problem or, you know, whatever you're needing, where it can support you, you know, to connect in with different light fields of information um, and really anchor into those. So that's what that uh, tool is really amazing at. One of the things it's doing yeah. for you when you work with it. Yeah. So um, the next tool in this series. So all of these are also journeys and we did these journeys in different places, sacred places around Mount Shasta. So it was a real, it was a really unique and beautiful retreat. And all of these tools are journeys of, in this series. And they're also all really, really strongly holding the, the energies of Mount Shasta. So uh, the next one is building your body of light. Um, working with your activated Merkaba, this activation journey brings in the highest light quotient available to you, giving you the ability to uh, consistently upgrade and anchor in this light. Um, I can't remember where we did that one. Was it inside the pyramid? I know we did the next one inside the pyramid with our retreat. Yeah. People, but um, I can't remember Can where it'll come back light? to me. I actually feel like we, I have a memory of us running that one just inside the uh, Guru Shasta that we. Okay. I was, I can picture us doing that too there. Yeah. yeah. I think we did it right there with our group. Um, yeah. Well, Guru Shasta is an incredible uh, retreat space where, that we, we get to return to that this year in September for our Shasta retreat in September this year. It wasn't available last time. So we're excited to be back there. It's a really special place. Um, and then the next one is connecting to the planetary bodies. We ran this one inside the pyramid. So it really holds that energy as well. Um, anytime you use it, uh, connecting your, uh, continuing, continuing your journey, working with your activated Merkaba, this healing tool creates an energetic circuitry with the highest form of the planetary bodies, allowing for deeper relationship with the universe and the star seeds who are part of your universe. It's good um, for bringing healing into the heart, expanding and activating your chakras and connecting you to the knowledge and wisdom of the planetary bodies. And then finally, Lady of the Lake. We did this, we hiked up to Heart Lake. That was a epic journey that was quite long, this hike, we, much longer than we anticipated. But once we were up there, it was so amazing. And we were all so so grateful to be up at Heart Lake. If you're ever in the Shasta area, we highly recommend uh, doing that hike. We, we probably will never do it again with a retreat group because it's it, it's a little bit of a challenging hike, um, but it is an amazing place. So we ran this, uh, we did this journey up there with our group at Heart Lake. Yeah. So Lady of the Lake. Actually, that's reminding me too. I see that Victor is with us here. Uh, watching our live stream from face uh, through Facebook. So Victor <laughs> hats off to you, Victor, because he was such a gentleman with us on that retreat and helping the ladies <laughs> who needed it yeah. on that yes. hike, which was a little more challenging than we kind of had expected. <laughs> so, <laughs> because so we, we got lost. We'll yeah, just admit it. We won't go into that. That's not normally <laughs> how we fall. And we learned a lot from that experience and making sure we do everything first but we're yes through, yes you know. well the the trail that, got washed away so it was yeah not what we were not what I mean, we had experienced before yeah and we also learned not to rely on what someone else thinks about that hike because we were told it was easy by someone yeah oh it's just an easy one yeah, mile easy. hike up it's easy yeah don't <laughs> easy is relative <laughs> for sure 
<laughs> Mary says now he's helping her with Tulum. And I realize that. Thank you so much, Victor. Oh, we love Victor. No, always. Can't wait to see you in Tulum. So excited. Okay. So the lady, the lady of the lake, um, is a catalyst for huge awakening and opening of your heart, humanity's heart and the heart of Gaia and everyone that makes up the golden harmonic of the one heart, all beings. This activation is forming a circuitry to deeper, deeply connect you to all beings on this planet and throughout the multiverse who make up the golden harmonic of the one heart. It resolves and dissolves heart walls, shields, and blockages. The activation strengthens our voice, our ability to stand in our truth, to speak our truth, to shine our light. It awakens a call to action within, along with the strength, commitment, and determination we need to act and love from a place of sovereignty. And it awakens the memory of Lemurian and Atlantean timelines within your heart, activating the power you in embodied in those incarnations. So uh, these tools are also pretty strongly connected with Lemuria because Shasta is so connected with Lemuria and also clearing a lot of trauma from um, the Atlant the fall of Atlantis because um, that was an experience that the Lemurians had. If you are, if you know much about Mount Shasta, you might be familiar with Telos, which is the where the Lemurians, 10,000 Lemurians, um, shape-shifted and formed this community underneath Mount Shasta. So um, that's why Shasta is so connected with Lemuria. Um, so this has that theme as well. And we haven't done these these journeys for a while, So I'm except for the Merkaba. So I'm excited to do the journeys with you guys during class. Um, for it's sure. just three, three weeks from now. I can't believe it's no, coming up so quickly. Woo! We have a lot to do still. Um, but it's, we're so excited, um, to be there and to be able to do these, share these tools, you know, um, and also then there's what, there's also the sacred light childhood trauma healing, which I thought was part of level two, but it looks like it's actually, we added it to level three in 2022 last time we got to teach. So. Okay. Yeah. And, um, so you guys got to experience that yesterday. Yeah. Yes. And that one on its own has so much for you. So please, when we say repeat the healings. We really mean it because <laughs> there's just so much for you there, um, for you to go deeper and, uh, you know, really get that full integration. Yeah. And all the yes. Please do you. repeat those healings. So, um, that's level three. So we want to share, you know, we're, we're, we're teaching these classes in on April 12th and 14th workshop style full day. Um, we want to make sure to uh, right, uh, right off the top here, mention the bonuses that we have, um, because we were talking about a lot over the, these three days, but we do have a sort of, um, time sensitive, two really big bonuses. So if you know that you want to come into these classes, um, join us for these three certification classes, yeah. We have two really big bonuses that end on Sunday. So they're ending before we actually do day three because of the way that this had to work out because of my brother's um, uh, celebration of life on Saturday, we had to move day three to next week. So we just wanna make sure that you guys know that these are there, they're, they're not on the registration page um, and they are ending this Sunday, the 24th of March. So the first bonus is um, something that I've never given as a bonus before, um, my sacred wealth virtues course. I taught this recently, um, live. So this, you get immediate access. Um, it will take us the, the um, the access will take us a few days to give to you for these, these, um, bonuses because they're not connected to co-creating miracles. We have to do it manually. So they won't be in your library immediately, but when you do get them, you'll have immediate access to, all of the 16 modules that are part of this very unique program um, that is working with the different archetypes that I um, was shown a few years ago when I created this system um, of how of how we relate to wealth and abundance. There's a lot of healing. There's a lot of activating. I give you different rituals and ways with working with the different four archetypes. There's four modules for each archetype and 
it's meant to go through all four archetypes because you will get an infinitely more benefit out of going through all of them than just the one that you most strongly identify with. So it has a quiz to help you identify the archetype that you most strongly identify with in that moment. And then you, and then I guide you in the order to go through the, the different archetypes. And so um, I'll drop a link to take a look at that course if you're interested in what that bonus is more about. Um, and then Kim has a bonus as well. Yeah. I'm not sure we've ever given these big bonuses before, but I don't, we haven't. Huh? I don't think we have, we haven't. So these are pretty special. Um, so also the bonus that uh, you would get if you signed up before Sunday or by midnight on Sunday um, is uh, last year in March, actually, I started um, a healing sort of sacred space, community healing space um, called the Miracle Healing Sanctuary. And um, each month there is a workshop or play shop, I guess, however you want to look at it, that is about 75 to 90 minutes long. And there are different topics for healing and support that we work through. And each, each one is super high value. There's so much um, there for you in each of those calls. They're on topics that benefit us all, no matter, you know, what our challenges are. Um, I'll just name a few of them here. I do have a, a, a web page that would show you that uh, container, but it's, you know, we're moving into 2024 now and we're starting our new year. So these are all replays of last year's, our, our first 12 months in that um, sanctuary space. And we just uh, kicked off our next 12 months, um, which are the, that's all live calls, um, live support. So um the different things that we actually covered in 2023, you won't see them on my, on that webpage. Uh, they're not, they, they don't show there. So that's why I'm not giving you the link, but it, um, some of these just to give you an idea are, we did a workshop, a uh, healing for clearing buried, uh, childhood trauma to heal your body and life. We worked through birth trauma, womb trauma, all kinds of different, um, uh, allergy clearings for things that, tend to affect us as children, including childhood vaccines, um, could be mold exposure, metals uh, that we may have been exposed to, um, all, a lot of allergy healing in, 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 in there that uh, people tend to need. And then um, we also did a really amazing workshop for healing, allergy healing for spring and summer, which covers clearing allergies to seasonal allergies and other different types of things that people commonly react to or cause problems for people that go with those seasons um, and create inflammation and, and compromise our immune health. So there's a lot there. Another, another one of our workshops was healing your relationship with your home and environment where there's a lot of allergy healing for environmental things that tend to create, you know, um, a lot of health issues and symptoms for people. It contains more than that, though. It's pretty phenomenal um, healing there. We, we've covered healing religious and spiritual trauma. There is a whole module for medical support healing and dental um, support healing. Lots of allergy clearing for the body and surgeries and trauma and uh, dental related pathogens and um, dental related things, I guess. Some, sometimes we actually become allergic to our fillings or crowns or our teeth themselves, for instance, um, even our own saliva, believe it or not. We don't get to go into the all the whys and hows of that here in this class, but there's a lot there for you in every single one of these modules for you know covering many topics where we really need uh, tools that are healing and supportive. So there's 13, even though it's 12 months, um, I did an extra workshop in, in, in March last year. So there was two in March. There's 13 of these um, with, you know, easy to use there. It's in Kajabi um, and all of the healing audios, there's separate audios, they're easy to download and, um, and all of that. So pretty amazing uh, bonus and hoping, you know, excited, excited to make these available, both of these bonuses available to all of you that are going to jump in and take advantage of them because they're, they're pretty awesome.
high value. Um, yes. Sure. Really, really, um, as you said, we don't usually give such, such big bonuses, but we, um, we were guided to do that, but they're just good through Sunday. So there is a question um, about pay and full bonus. So we just, we, we, we did these um, bonuses for everyone who signed up before Sunday rather than doing it for just for full pay. But if you do pay in full, um, you do save a little bit of money. So that that's the benefit. That's one benefit for paying in full. Um, good. I went off of the document here. So let me find my way back. Um, so again, we're teaching this. So these are, you get all three certification courses. We're teaching them over two full days, April 12th through the 14th from Tulum. So you're going to be, even if you're joining us virtually, you know, you'll really be pulled into that energy that we're going to be in. Um, we really have deeply discounted these bundles. Um, it's 2222 for all three certification courses. Uh, that's a savings of 40% um, versus purchasing them separately. I just want to share so, a, a quick thing that we don't have that we haven't shared, I don't think. So yes, full immersion days, the way these tools are, um, is make, that makes, makes it doable for us to do that. Um, but what we haven't shared is that we will, all, this will also include a follow-up Q and A call once we're home again, um, two, three weeks after or so we haven't quite figured out when we'll, we'll pick the most optimal time, but there will be a follow-up call too, where if you have questions, um, we're there for those for you. And, um, so I just wanted to mention that as well, that will be included. Yeah. We haven't talked about that anywhere. I yeah. I know. It's not, I don't think it's even on the registration page. Yeah, because, um, because we don't have, you know, data. as you, you guys will probably have some questions as you begin working with the tools. And since a lot of times we teach classes, you know, once a week for eight to 12 weeks. And since this is a workshop style, we wanted to provide that place for you guys to, to be able to bring your questions. Yes. And Kelly, you have a great thing that you're sharing and that's intentional. What you're seeing is true. <laughs> uh, you're saying the registration page. Yes. We haven't gotten to that part yet, but yeah. yeah. So yeah, so um, there, two, there are two options for purchase for these bundles. One of them is uh, 2,222, and that's for Sacred Light Levels 2, 3, and 4. The one that you're seeing there that's uh, 2,555 actually also includes Sacred Light Level 1 for those who need it because it's a prerequisite for the Sacred Light Healing modality. Uh, people need to start with Sacred Light Level 1. We just recently taught it uh, again and brought in a couple of new healing tools and a lot of updates. Uh, it's an amazing course. So if you you know, need that, then that's for you because it is a prerequisite. And um, yeah, that course is normally 997. So that makes it about $300. So that's another huge, so that's like a 60% discount um, on <laughs> yeah, level one, to, but we wanted to make to it easy. People. Yeah, we want to try to help people that are drawn to, you know, all of the tools that we're teaching about right now and sharing right now, but need to meet that prereq pre -rec to join us for that. So, yeah. Yeah. So, Mary, we'll, um, we're, we're uh, our assistant will be reaching out to you. Um, looks like you're, you're having, you having trouble finding that welcome email for the retreat, but you do have all the information it's in the group. So you, you actually, the, the email was the same information that we posted in the group. So don't worry that you're missing anything. Um, you've got it all. And we're here to answer all your questions, Mary. Um, in fact, I've read your email that you sent in this morning. I just haven't had a chance to respond to that, but we will be responding to that. Um, Josephine, this is good. Amazing. Yes, it was. Thank you for sharing that. We, we were yeah, so it, so let's also address the, the, the discounts for those who have taken sacred light level two and three, because we okay. have taught these classes before it's been two years since we've taught them, but there's many of you who have taken either level two, level three, or both of them. So if you have taken level two or three, if you've taken one of them, you get a $500 discount. 
Um, you can find that discount code in the Kachabi course at the top of the course. If you have trouble finding it, you can just email hello at cocreatingmiracle.com. If you've taken both of them, you get a thousand dollar discount. So um, that makes the, the total 1222, which is actually a $275 discount off of just level four alone. That will be $1497 on its own. So um, you know, you're signing up for all three, but you're actually paying less than you would for level four on its own if you have those just that that thousand uh, dollar discount available to you. And then if it's just the five hundred dollar discount, then you're actually getting a 50% discount on the, the two or three that you don't have. Um, cause that class, those classes are 997 on their own. So it's a pretty steep discounts all the way around. Um, so make sure that if you have taken level two or three, that you look for those discount codes or just email us if you can't find them at hello at cocreatingmiracle.com. And we're, we're just, we cannot wait to be in Tulum. Um, we can't wait to have you guys join us, whether you're joining us virtually or in person, we still have one or two spots left for the retreat. So if you're feeling that heart pull to Tulum, um, honestly, the, you get this whole luxury retreat experience for not that much more than what the classes themselves would cost on their own. Um, so you can just go to our website, uh, co-creating miracle, Dot com and you can find the information about the retreat there. Reach out to us if you have any questions. Um, anything else? Do you guys have any questions? We've had a lot of questions about the different classes. That you know, if you've taken some of two, these two before, the discounts, how how it's all unfolding. So, are there any questions for those of you who are here live? Yes, class starts at 7 a.m. Pacific time, Lark, because it's a full day class and we're going to be in Eastern time. So we can't start too late in the day for our day there in Tulum. So it's um, 7 a.m. 7 a.m. to 2 p.m. Pacific time, uh, 10 a.m. to 5 p.m. Eastern time, both days. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so so Kelly, how do you register for level two through four? So just scroll down the page a little bit. So we have the two different bundles. So bundle one is on top. We probably should flip that actually, because yeah. most of the people coming actually already have level one, but just scroll down the page a little bit and you're going to want to choose bundle two. Oh, she sees it now. Good deal. Oh, Shanna says, this stuff is so amazing. Thanks again. You're so welcome. Teresa says, thank you for today. It was fully somewhere else. Yeah, I think that was true for so many of us here. Those healings and you both are heaven sent. Aw, thank you, Teresa. Mwah, mwah, mwah. Yeah, and Mary. Um, so Shasta um, will be teaching co-creating miracles with sacred light. I believe you have that, Mary. I believe you joined us virtually last year. So um, you can hold your spot in Shasta. It's September 26th through the 30th, I believe. For five hundred dollars, that's we don't have a registration page for people to sign up yet because we're focused on Tulum, okay. but um, it's half full already though. So if you want to hold your spot, um, anybody who's interested in coming to Shasta, we're teaching co-creating oh. miracles with Sacred Light, and you can hold your spot for just five hundred dollars. Um, if so, if you want the you know any more details about that, it's it's a less less of inv an investment than Tulum. I think it's thirty three hundred. Um, so just email hello at cocreatingmiracle.com. We'll get you that link. And then if you do have co-creating miracles class, you get a $500 discount. I believe it is. Um, don't quote me on that. Cause I'm not looking at the details, but you do get a discount if you already have taken that class before. <laughs> um, yeah, yeah. Tulum is Eastern time. So we're three hours behind. Yeah. All right. Behind, ahead, uh, ahead. I guess that is. <laughs> I guess that'd be ahead. I think we've been talking. Oh, do they not have daylight time? Oh, Safina, waiting until you do a retreat in Sedona. Ah, we haven't been called to do that. Well, no, it's not on our radar we yet. Won't, we yeah, 
we won't say never, but that's not something that we're actively planning right now. Oh, Tulum does not have daylight hours. See, we might not have been. Oh, then maybe, maybe it will be. Um, eight. Well, well, we need to figure that out. But it's yeah. it's going to be ten a.m. in Tulum. <laughs> That's the time that we're important for us to know. <laughs> we, we 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 do need to know that, I guess, before we go there. Well, <sighs> thank you, Lark. Oh, thank you, Lark. Mm. Cool. Okay, everyone. Any uh, um, Crestone? Yes, Mary. Crestone's definitely on our radar. It is. We've we been there. We love it. That's really when technologies actually started to be unlocked for us originally, and then and, sh and then it was then it was just being called back. To, you know, called to Shasta, and then back to Shasta, and back to Shasta, back to Shasta, and they just keep coming in there. But yeah, Crestone really unlocked a lot for us. And then I yeah, your love. techie brain is helpful, Lark. Yes, and Crestone is definitely not, you know, not on a lot of people's radar. It's not nobody, not very many people know about Crestone. Yeah, it's a little um, tricky to it, get there. But it is tricky to get there. Yeah, it's, it's no it. Shasta. We just happen to live within driving distance ourselves. That's true. That is true. All right, I'm not seeing any more questions. So Don says it's 451 in Tulum right now. So that's a that's a pretty important detail. Two hours, Two hours not three. Okay. All right. Thank you for that. I didn't realize they didn't do daylight savings time. I didn't either. And when we looked at the time, it wasn't, you know, when we figured all this stuff out, it wasn't daylight savings time. So it was that's interesting. All right. We will figure all we'll get that correct information out to everybody. Yes, indeed. Let's see. Thank you, Mary. All right. Beautiful well, journey. We'll have to look at that. Well, very good, everyone. Thank you again for all of you who have been with us uh, for really almost a full two hours for two days in a row. So each day. So, <laughs> um, and, uh, just a reminder that day three is next Wednesday, the 27th at noon Pacific time. Yes. And so yes, Crestone, Colorado, Lorna, you spelled it correctly there. It's about four hours from Denver. It's in the mountains. Yes. So we look forward to seeing all of you next week. If you can make it. <laughs> Uh, next week, Wednesday, it's going to be one hour earlier than we did these two days. So just to make a note of that, it's at noon. If you, if you um, added it to your calendar with the link that we've sent out over the past several weeks, that's reflected on your calendar. You should see that update for you. And the Zoom link is right there and everything. That's why we love being able to provide that uh, link for people. And um, we look forward to sharing a lot about Sacred Light Level 4 when we see you on uh, Wednesday next week. So, so much right. love to everyone. Yes, get rest, take take up some salt baths, take, take walks, whatever you need to do to help yourself process all, you know, the healing that's an activation that's been coming in for you and repeat the healings also. And um, we'll yeah. see you in a week. Yeah, and Susie's reminding, you must sign up before Sunday to get the two bonuses. So that, that but before we do day three, that those are going to have been expired. Yeah. So make sure that you remember that if you want those bonuses and we'll, we'll share more. We'll post, you know, we'll post about it and email out with the replay and everything, but remember those expire on Sunday. All right. Thank you everybody who's, who's sending me love. I appreciate it. Yeah. Good. Okay. We'll Welcome. see you next week. Okay. So much love to all. All right. For now. Bye for now.